Welcome. You have been invited to participate in an international research project which aims to establish the rationale physicians offer in response to written questions probing clinical reasoning under conditions of uncertainty. We are using a modified version of the script concordance test and in this short presentation we will go over the basic methodology. The format of the SCT is shown here. There are three types of questions which assess one of diagnosis, investigation or a plan of management. Every question follows the format shown. There is a case scenario, a suggested diagnosis, investigation or plan of management, then new information to consider. The data are incomplete, reflecting typical clinical practice. You are asked to consider the effect of the new information by selecting your preferred response from the range of Likert options shown. What has been described is the standard SCT. There is no correct answer. Experience indicates clinicians will provide a range of answers, but usually with a clear modal response. In this research, we are interested in understanding how you think about each problem. Why did you answer the way you did? What was going through your mind? For each question, please be as detailed as possible in explaining your rationale, and remember that there are not necessarily right answers to the questions in the test. We would like also to know if you checked a reference or discussed the case with a colleague before arriving at a decision. If you are already familiar with the standard SCT, you will recognise that what has just been described is a modification of it. Let's look at an example. This question requires a decision about the utility of an investigation, namely blood cultures in a patient with a fever and respiratory symptoms and who has been taking an antibiotic for a week. You are asked to determine if the new information, that is, the use of an antibiotic, has any bearing on the utility of the proposed investigation with blood cultures. There is no correct answer. What has been provided here is for illustrative purposes only. This research is undertaken online using a SurveyMonkey questionnaire. If you choose to participate, we will provide you with the link. Participation is anonymous. You are able to answer the questions in multiple sittings and you can change your answers any time until final submission. But please note you must always access the questionnaire from the same IP address. For most of us, this means using the same computer at the same location. And it means that participants can't share the same computer when answering questions. The investigators are most grateful for your interest in this project.